How's it going, ladies and gents? Welcome back to yet another division video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys exactly what you get to do after hitting the maximum rank in Tom Clancy's The Division. And basically, what happens is after you've completed a ton of missions, after you've completed a ton of encounters, after you get the amount of XP that you possibly could need for level 30 you might hit it before the end of the game if you sped through the game and you didn't do all of the encounters then you're gonna hit it uh probably after the end of the game i actually went through each area i did every single encounter i did every single mission side mission on my way through there got tons of the uh, the hidden items as well for ex uh, extra experience and then i hit level 30 well before the end of the game um but i do still have the final mission to do and that mission is a very good mission for loot and stuff like that you do get a lot of stuff uh from it as well as i think you get a high-end blueprint or a high-end pistol or something like that from it uh but aside from that here is what you get to do once you hit the max rank in the PVE section of the division. First of all, you unlock a new vendor once you've uh, upgraded your home base all the way up. And the tech wing, you get uh, the high-end specialist vendor. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but you go to him and he sells a bunch of high-end items. Uh, armor, weapon, mods, everything. As well as superior stuff. So that would be yellows and purples for you guys who do not know what those mean that means. But he sells them for this new type of currency called Phoenix Coins. Now, the way you get these Phoenix Coins is you have to find the level 30 named enemies, the yellow guys, uh, all out and about walking around the streets or in missions and stuff like that, and they will drop phoenix coins for you to get once you get enough of these you can go ahead and you can buy something from him his stock does refresh uh i'm not sure exactly how often it refreshes i haven't actually checked the hours i think it's weekly uh is when his stock gets refreshed kind of like zur but it's actually going out throughout the entire week uh if you want to draw that comparison i guess uh if you want you know uh but on top of that you don't only get those phoenix coins on top of that you also get daily missions unlocked now what these are is basically Basically, each day there's going to be a couple different missions that you can do. Uh, it's replayed missions, but it's going to be set to a specific type of difficulty. Some of them are going to be hard. Uh, most of them will be hard, actually. And you'll get a special daily reward for that. But some of them will be on the challenging difficulty. And I watched a streamer. It was actually Goth Alley. And I watched him uh, do a stream today of trying this uh, challenging mode. He was with a bunch of level 30 guys. The four, of them, uh, four of them all together in total. And, uh, well... Yeah, they died a lot, man. It's hard. It is extremely hard. I guess you could even say it's, you know, challenging. I suppose but that's pretty much it as far as endgame goes now you do unlock however the ability to go into these things called incursions but these are not out yet all we know about this is the fact that it requires a certain level of gear score I think it's a hundred and 150 gear score but there is no way to check what your gear score is uh, so we have no idea what these are gonna be I mentioned this in the previous video that if we go by the definition of incursion it it sounds like it could be pretty cool as it's some sort of sudden invasion that happens we might have to go in and keep them from invading a certain area or kick them back out of an area that they suddenly invaded uh, each week who knows it could be pretty cool could be pretty lame who knows we're gonna see what happens in April but that's pretty much it guys that's all I have to show you uh, aside from that you have the dark zone and the dark zone is huge large expanse you got upwards of level 31 to 32 enemies in there and they are beefy they are super beefy and there's bosses in there which you can also get phoenix coins from as far as i know uh i'm pretty sure you can uh, so, but they're just going to be extremely hard in there so yeah watch your backs when you guys go into the dark zone i don't think players are necessarily the biggest threat in there anymore i think the npcs actually have become some of the biggest threats in there if you are unprepared so that's the video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and a comment down below don't forget to share it with your friends and hit that subscribe button if you have not and if you have any questions for me 
uh, about the division. I know a lot of people aren't anywhere near uh, max level yet because they just got the game or they just started the game, but they've also got school or work and stuff like that uh, that they've got to do in between play sessions. If you got any questions, just let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for yet another video. Peace.